This is some WWE action figures I got to just see right now during COVID season. I'm pretty surprised they have a Batista here. Once again, Jeff Hardy. Uh, Stephanie McMahon's a new one that I haven't ever come across. Uh, and a bunch of Seth Rollins. There's a Drake Maverick. Uh, I might be buying Drake Maverick and The Miz. I might just buy him, but I, I'm just debating because he's in this attire. I do have the Authors of Pain. But I don't know if I have to. I have to buy the other author of pain in the green. Um, so some of the double packs they have is this beautiful uh, Brock Lesnar title. That's the really nice thing about this figure. Um, there's that right there. Oh, look at that! The authors of pain are here. Two of the authors of pain, but I don't think I want to pay that price for them. Uh, at the current moment, which is $30. It's a very nice Rey Mysterio. And they've got some elites here. So the elites they have are Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Nikki Bella. Kyrie Sane. Rey Mysterio. Triple H. There's another Triple H there. Daniel Bryan. When he was uh, the bad heel. There's a Natalia there, Lindsay Dorado, Andrades, another Finn Balor, and the last guy is an AJ Styles. So those are the figures here. That's the price right there, $29.99 for the figures. So if I would get one, uh, get the three would be Maverick um, and the Authors of Pain, but I don't want to pay the price on them. So we're going to take a look at whatever else toy hunt stores we can go to. During COVID season. All right, so I'm here in Toys R Us, and it looks like it's almost the same amount of figures that they've had before, uh, previously that I've shown. Um, so they do have this Kurt Angle now. It's on a clearance for 19.99 Shield Edition. I don't think I need him because I already have a Kurt Angle. Uh, but uh, these are the other figures. They're still 14.99. Unfortunately, that AJ Styles is coming out. Uh, the Undisputed Era is right there for 69.99 Sealed. Um, once again, that's uh, on clearance for uh, eleven ninety-eight. The original price on this was $20. Uh, there's a Ruby Riot there, uh, which we've seen in the past in the videos. Um, a bunch of these figures, they're $2 bucks, uh, on clearance. Uh, so there's a bunch of those. There's this Matt Hardy right here. Um, I'm not a big fan of this Matt Hardy's face scan. Um, there's the Authors of Pain, so it's quite disappointing, uh, but then again, they were just locked down. Um, they just lifted up the COVID lockdown from Toys R Us, um, so they kind of still do have the same figures, but you can't complain, um, at least they're open. So that is the end of this little clip. We'll see if we come back to another Toys R Us and see what they... So I just found a Toys R Us, I was just driving, and I picked up a one WWE figure. Uh, which I'll show you in the car. It's a pretty rare one um, And I'm just gonna take a look at this Toys R Us to see if I can find anything All right, so starting off There's a Seth Rollins on the bottom a Batista and Some more guys there uh, So basically all basics again. Um, those are for two bucks there the Razor and Acom Undisputed Era. Shinsuke Nakamura. Ruby Riot. There's the ring. A ton of AJ Styles toys. Not a big fan. And I think that's about it for these guys here. Um, so. There's some of the WWE titles, but it looks like nothing's been stocked yet. It's been over a month uh, for the stores to be open, and there is basically nothing uh, reshelved yet uh, due to COVID. So, fortunately, I'm not going to be buying anything. So here's the last figure I have uh, for my WWE collection. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more... Um, guys to put up on the shelves just because I don't have any more space but uh, this is going to be the last piece of the puzzle let's see who I got so now that I got him out uh, of the box it's none other than the earthquake 
So that is the figure. Earthquake is quite pricey. Um, I had to pay quite a lot of money. It wasn't a lot to buy him, but the import taxes were so much uh, for this that the figure cost me 50 bucks Canadian. It was only listed for 15 bucks US. But once again, when you have to deal with customs and imports and the exchange rate goes up, I am finally happy to get this figure because I did get the Typhoon. So now I have the natural disasters. I'm trading away that guy there, Bobby Lashley, Buddy Murphy, for finally a Hacksaw Jim Duggan and a basic Eddie Guerrero. So that's that. And I sold off a few of my extra figures. Right, so. Um, before going to this Toys R Us, I got one figure. I paid $25 for it. It's quite a lot of money, but uh, that's the Demolition Edition uh, Crush. I drove far. It was a little kid. He was adamant on the price. Um, Crush's face is scuffed, but I was just like, you know what? I came all this way. I'm just going to give the kid the money he's asking. Um, the kid was going to use it to buy some more toys, so I got this figure for 25 bucks really happy so I'm going to this place right here first time ever seeing it it's called heroes uh, we're gonna take a look at what they have I, the only reason why I stopped here was I seen that there's a WWE figure sign and they just put these tents up right here uh, but there is a WWE sign right here uh, so because of that WWE sign I looked it online I said I got to come here the so right now we couldn't uh, record because there was music so I'm trying to put some backup edit log of this so they had a bunch of other figures right here a lot of LJNs right here going down here there's a bunch of Jack specific figures no Mattels unfortunately so their Mattels were selling like crazy so that's all they had right here they had some deluxe edition WWE Jax figures and now we're going on to this side there were some TNA Impact WCW figures, old Jack specific rubber figures. Now the corner there, there's an empty spot. I picked up two figures from the Legend series. So what's strange is their Legend series was a lot cheaper. But uh, the classic WWE figures are really expensive. But um, that's why I didn't want to buy any of them. But they had an amazing, amazing collection almost every single figure so this is the most extensive figure collection i did see in the corner there there's a lex luger next to the ultimate warrior and there's a wwe chair now going on to this side it was all the way to this side that they had figures as well as on top Now on this side they had more figures, continuation, there's that Rey Mysterio, Ruthless Aggression silver figure, and that's about it for their figures. So I have a video game channel. Um, my videos are all about video games, I do very rare hunts once in a while i'll do hunts so i just got one video game from the shop uh, it's spy hunter it's a sealed copy um so that was 20 bucks i was just whatever i'll just get it i don't have this in the collection uh but one of the reasons why i got i came here was i asked them if they had wwe figures and they actually had uh demolition axe so it's a sealed demolition axe um any of you guys in the comments can tell me if this is resealed or not on the bottom has just a little bubble, so I don't know if this resealed or not, um, but I got two of his figures. So the only guy I'm looking for right now is Demolition Smash, um, but I paid 50 bucks a piece on these, so I never really do this uh, to find uh, sealed figures. I'm not a sealed figure collector, but I'm going to keep these for a very, very long time. So I'm very happy to find this figure, and I've got two of them. So the other one's in the bag right here. Um, so I got these from this uh, shop called Heroes, and I negotiated a price. I said, can I get them for 50 bucks a piece? Uh, they said, sure. So quite happy with this. All right, so I've got this uh, coming in from the UK. 
I actually found a good lot of WWE action figures elites. They were a little pricey because eBay, what they do is they charge so much money uh, as an import fee plus a shipping fee. So I had a cousin, his name is Omar. He sent me these from the UK. So much love and a big shout out to him. We'll take a look at what I ended up getting in the lot. So this is how the packaging looks. So this was from an adult collector. Um, so we'll take a look at what I got. Uh, I just love the way the guy wrapped everything. Um, so we'll take a look now. So the first figure I have is an IRS. This is an elite form. Uh, so he has a little scuff, but I think that's just due to him being in the packaging. The next figure I got is uh, someone that I've been wanting to get for a while, uh, and who is Ravishing Rick Rude. So Rick Rude, I wish he was the Rick Rude with the curly hair, but I can't complain. Rick Rude is a solid figure. So Rick Rude is the other figure I got. All right, so the next figure is Booker T. I don't know if this Booker T is the one that comes with the Harlem Heat set. Uh, do let me know in the comments, but uh, Booker T, I'm going to be replacing the old Booker T that I have, the basic figure, and this will be an upgrade. So the old Booker T, I'm going to be trading off. So there's Booker T right there, and just a solid figure overall. All right, so the next figure is Ken Shamrock. Ultimately, this guy was the best wrestler when I was a little kid. I thought he was the best uh, supreme wrestler. Sadly, he won no championship, but a really nice figure. Uh, let me know in the comments, should I keep this um, like this jacket that he has, or should I get rid of this jacket and just have him displayed without the jacket? So let me know in the comments, but uh, really nice gloves. Solid gloves, nice back, jacket. Next figure I got is Randy Macho Man Savage. Sadly, he's lost the pad. I thought the pad was there when I was uh, purchasing it, but uh, I don't know. This is uh, quite a downer, but uh, nevertheless, I do have his hat and I do have a pair of glasses for him. So I'll put him in uh, to the collection. But yeah, what a bummer. No knee pad, but a really solid figure nevertheless. The next figure is the old original Undertaker. Uh, so I really need to find a trench coat for him. Um, I really like this figure. This is the original Undertaker that I was scared of. After uh, a while, Undertaker became a lot more uh, laid back and not as scary. But this was a time where I was just so afraid of the Undertaker. And uh, according to the movie The Last Ride... Uh, this was a character development that he had, um, and then he evolved his character over time. So this was a guy that I really liked. This gimmick was the best gimmick of The Undertaker. So the next figure is the 123 Kid. Uh, really like this 123 Kid. I just recently did get a 123 Kid in my other videos, um, but this one is pretty much in mint condition. I don't like his face scan. It just annoys me. But there's the back, pretty much mint, just other than... That one mark there. So yeah, that's the one, two, three kid. The next figure is Brutus the Barber Beefcake. So I'm most likely going to be keeping his uh, jacket just because it makes him look so much better. Really nice figure. Nice solid work done on the figure. Love the gloves that he's wearing. Nice attention to detail to this figure. So the next two guys are the Dudley Boys. Uh, the Dudley Boys are one of my favorite tag teams that has ever existed. I love tag team wrestling figures. So these two guys I've been wanting to get. Because they left the WWE, they don't have any more WWE contracts. It's hard to find these guys. There's the Elite figures and then these ones. I did recently see these guys online, uh, but it was just... Uh, too far of a drive and I already had ordered them so I didn't want to end up having another two figures but 
yeah, really happy to get these guys. Just the quality on them. The face scans are great. Tattoos are nice there too. Boots. And the last figure is... And the last figure is the Native American Tatanka. Uh, he doesn't have, I think, two accessories that come with him. The stick and then his necklace. But, uh, wow, what a figure. What a figure. So, happy to get Tatanka. I'm just looking for Lex Luger. Uh, and this was Lex Luger's partner. So, quite happy to get this figure. These are the figures I did get. Uh, I didn't end up purchasing anything really from the Walmart hunt that I did. Uh, during COVID season. So these are all the figures I got. And there's that Rick Rude right there. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you're brand new to the channel, I do video games as well as WWE action figure hunts. I go out and find them online in my local ads. Kijiji, we have something in Canada. Craigslist, eBay. So this is an eBay purchase. And for everything, I think it was including shipping it was 100 pounds, 100 and something pounds. It worked out to be $200, uh, including the import fees. But nevertheless, it was a lot better than what I was originally going to pay for them. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. So here's a final look at the entire wall of WWE figures. So I've got the current generation guys all up here. I've got... The older figures right here. I've got a couple more figures right here. That was the last guy to the piece of the puzzle, which was the earthquake. And in the games room, if you can see this way, there's more figures here. That's the crush I got today. That is Demolition Smash. Um, I'm probably going to just keep them like this. Um, and here are my two epic finds today. <laughs> or not today, but during the time that I filmed this. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe.